Bridging the gap between science and arts was a cost conference uh, held in Zivolo, here in Italy, on Monte Conero, in a beautiful paradise type landscape, where during three days uh, have several artists and scientists from different fields, music, uh, painting, sculptures, uh, physics, uh, chemistry, engineering, uh, mechanics, biology, uh, came together to discuss uh, how to bridge the gap between science and arts. Hello, my name is Christina Stefanon. I'm a concert pianist and a teacher. And I was invited to this uh, conference series uh, to talk about uh, math and music. I was very uh, grateful uh, for this opportunity. And uh, in the course of uh, uh, the conferences uh, these past few days, uh, we realized, uh, like Albert Einstein said, uh, that we are branches of the same three, scientists, musicians, artists, uh, we belong to, to the same living creature somehow. We need each other and we are part of the same thing. So My name is Joseph Roach, I uh, work at the Science Gallery in Trinity College in Dublin and I was very happy to take part in this conference because for me as a, as a scientist who's uh, trying to come up with ways to engage the public and uh, make science more interactive and um, exciting for people, it's, it's really great to, to come to a conference that brings people from so many different fields. So getting to speak with uh, artists and designers and dancers and all these different people who have interesting ideas on how science and art should be combined and how they can work together and complement each other. Um, it's great for us to be able to, to take part in that and, and to learn from each other. So uh, the biggest advantage I think to something like this is the diversity because with such an interesting area it's always a challenge to make sure that you, you keep your ideas fresh and new. And I think one of the only ways to do that successfully is to make sure that the people involved are bringing different perspectives. And I think that's something that this conference has accomplished very well. At the beginning I would have to say I'd struggle to find a common language. But now, by day three actually, uh, I'm finding more and more in common with these people. Really as the three days have, have progressed, I realise that there are maybe as many bridges as there are gaps between the, the art and science topic um, and this is certainly something that we can move forward with. I would uh, not expect from my point of view a such a high level of interest uh, coming out at the end but actually I learned a lot of interesting things all the speakers and I thank all the speakers. So it's for me the building the, uh, to bridge the gap between art and science is not to define what's the difference and what's the something in common. It's how we can get something from each other, how we can learn from each other. So that's my simple comments. Good point.